I'm going to show you how to get a lobby bot with commando bot which will let you get every skin in the entire game including unreleased skins, OG skins, and every skin all the way up to chapter 3 season 2. So to get this lobby bot, join the commando discord server, the link for that will be in the description. And once you've joined the discord server, head on down to this channel right over here. It will be called create your bot. And once you're in this channel, you'll see something like this down here. So what you want to do is just type exclamation point start bot. Now once you type that, the bot will send you a DM, so just look in the top left hand corner of your Discord and you should see a DM from the Commando Lobby Bot. Now once you've done that, you should see a pop up screen that looks just like this. So what you want to do is head on over here and then you want to click on this button right here. And if you already use the bot, you might have a few bots that you've already logged in with and these will let you quickly launch them up again. But if you've never used this Lobby Bot before, just click on add a new account. So the next thing you want to do is go over to epicgames.com and you want to make sure that you're logged in with an account that's not your main account. And if you don't know how to create another Epic Games account, you can just look up a YouTube video and that'll help you out. So you can see I'm logged in with another account called Lobbybot Season 2. So now you can head back over to Discord and then just click on this button right here. And now once you click on that, it'll take you over to this website right here. Now on this website, you'll see this huge string of numbers and everything. You want to head on over to the place where it says authorization code, and then you just want to copy these numbers right over here. Now once you've copied these, head back over to Discord, and then just paste them right in here. And now once you've pasted it, it'll say generating auths, and it'll create your lobby bot right over there. So now that your bot has been created, you can launch up Fortnite on whatever device you want to use. You can do this on a phone, console, PC, or any device that can run Fortnite. So now that you have Fortnite launched up, just head back over to Discord and you'll see the lobby bot's name appear up here. So now you want to do is head back over to Fortnite, go over here, and then type in the lobby bot's name. Now once you typed in that lobby bot's name, you can just friend it right over here. And that'll send a friend request to the lobby bot. Now once the friend request is sent, the lobby bot will automatically add you back, just like that. And then you'll see it in your friends menu. So just click on the lobby bot and just press invite to party. And now what you want to do is head back over to the discord and this will give you an option to either accept or decline the invite. So just click on accept if this is from you, just like that. And then if you head back over to the Fortnite, you'll see the lobby bot has joined your party. So now that you have the lobby bot in your party, you can head back over to Discord and you can check out all the commands for your lobby bot. So if you type in the slash button right here, it'll give you a list of all of the commands that you can use on this lobby bot. So you can just scroll through and you'll see all of these commands that you can use for the lobby bot. So one of the best commands to use right when the bot joins your party is the hide command. So for this to work, you're going to have to make the lobby bot a party leader by clicking on manage and then making it party leader. And then if you head back over to discord, you can just type in the hide command and then, and then that's going to hide every single person in your lobby except for the bot. Another really useful command is the set owner command. So if you type slash set owner, and then you just type in your Fortnite username. This will set you as the owner of the account and it won't let anybody else use this lobby bot. If you type in this command, this will make the lobby bot your lobby bot and no one else will be able to use this lobby bot. So another really good command, which most people like using is the slash skin command right here. As you can see, it'll give you an option to type in any skin in the entire game and even give you some options right here. So if we want to use one of the skins from the battle pass, you can check out the battle pass and you'll see that the prowler skin is not actually out yet. It's coming out in 12 days. So if we want to use this as an unreleased skin to troll people with, just head back over to the discord and then just type in prowler. And this will give you an option to use the prowler skin. Just press enter and then you'll be able to use the prowler skin in your lobby. Now another really useful command is going to be the emote command. If you type slash emote, you can do any emote in the entire game. So you can just choose one of these or you can type your own. And then if you just type it in like this, it will end up doing that command for you. 
You can see we just got the crowd goes wild command and you can use that in your lobby. Now the style command, which can be used with slash style, will let you change the style or variant of any skin or cosmetic that you're using. So the first thing you want to do before you use this command is switch to a skin that has different styles, like the ghoul trooper. So once you have changed to the ghoul trooper, just like this, now you can change into the pink glue trooper by using the style command. So if you type slash style and then you type in skin, that'll let you change the style of the current skin that you're using. So it'll give you multiple options. You'll see the default zombie and pink. And of course we wanted the pink version, so just type in two and then that'll change the style to pink. As you can see right here, we have the pink glue trooper now in our lobby. So another really cool command that is new to this bot's new update is to be able to change the status of your bot. So if you leave the party of your bot and you scroll into the friends menu, you'll see that this lobby bot has a status message which says battle royale lobby. So if you want to change this to something more customized, then you can head back into the discord, just type in slash status right here. And this will let you change the bot's status to something else. So if we do slash status, then we type in subscribe. That'll change the bot status to subscribe. And I can see that the lobby bot has the subscribe as a status. Now there's plenty of other commands that you can use on your own if you want to test them out. They all have different descriptions under them. So you can just test out any of these commands that you want on your own lobby bot on your own time. But that is all that I'm going to show in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one and like the video as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.